Hi everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. If you delayed taking Medicare at 65 because you are still working and on your employer's health plan, this video is for you. There are important changes coming in 2025 that you need to know about, and it could impact thousands, maybe even millions, of people. So, let's say you've been on your employer's health plan because they have 20 or more employees and you thought, I'm good. I don't need to sign up for Medicare Part B or Part D yet. Well, now things are shifting. The new law for 2025 is capping Medicare Part D drug costs at $2,000. If your employer's health plan doesn't cap your out-of-pocket drug costs at $2,000, guess what? It may no longer be considered as good as Medicare. What does this mean for you? If your employer's plan isn't up to that new standard, you'll face a late penalty when you eventually apply for Medicare Part D. Now, the Part D penalty isn't as harsh as a Part B penalty, but it's still something you'll want to avoid. For instance, this year, if you're late to enroll, you could be looking at an extra $42 a month for Part D. Here's the kicker, if you delay Part B, the penalty can be steep 10% for every year you delay. For Part D, it's 1% of the national base premium for every month you're late. That might not seem like much now, but if you're working until, say, 75, that's 10 years of penalties. And if the national average premium jumps in the future, those penalties get worse. Remember, the penalties for Medicare are for life they don't go away. To avoid this mess, here's what you need to do. Talk to your HR department. Ask them to confirm, in writing, whether your employer's drug coverage is as good as or better than Medicare. If it's not, you'll need to enroll in Medicare Part D to avoid penalties later on. You may need to push your employer to improve their benefits, or take steps to sign up for Medicare Part D now. Every employee in this situation needs to be aware of this and act accordingly. Next, let's talk Medicare and why it's essential to work with a trusted expert who knows the ins and outs of your specific state and county. So, you're probably thinking, Medicare is a federal program. It should be the same everywhere, right? Well, yes. And no. While the government's Medicare program is the same across all 50 states, the private insurance side your Medicare supplement or Advantage plans are a different story. These plans can vary dramatically, not just from state to state, but even within your own state. That's why it's so crucial to get the right advice for your zip code. Let me break this down with an example. A Medicare supplement plan for a 65-year-old woman in New York might cost around $300. Meanwhile, the same plan in Ohio? It could be closer to $100. And in Florida, it might be $150. That's a huge difference, right? Even within the same state, like Ohio, you could see big variations between cities like Cincinnati and Cleveland, all because insurance companies have different strategies for different regions. Now you might be asking, why does location matter so much? It comes down to how insurance companies operate. They use data, lots of data about how people in your area use healthcare, how healthy the population is, and what hospitals are nearby. For example, a company might offer lower rates in Cincinnati because it's a healthier city with competitively priced hospitals. Meanwhile, Cleveland, with more expensive hospitals, might have higher premiums. It's all about profit for these companies. And here's something you need to keep in mind. Insurance plans change all the time. What's a great plan this year might not be so great next year. That's why if you come to us for advice, we might recommend a different company each time you ask because it's a moving target. In 2023, we might suggest Aetna, but in 2024, maybe Humana or United Healthcare has the better rates. It's all about staying on top of these changes. Also, keep in mind that state laws vary too. In some states, like California or Oregon, 
you have more flexibility to switch your Medicare supplement plans even if you're not in perfect health. But in most states, if you want to change plans after your initial enrollment, you'll need to pass health screenings. So, when you're planning your retirement, knowing the rules for your state is crucial. Thinking about retiring or moving to a different state. It's so important to understand how these rules could affect your Medicare choices. For example, in California, you can switch plans around your birthday, while in Florida, you could get locked into a plan if you're not in good health. This is a key factor when planning where to retire, and it's something many people don't consider until it's too late. That's why we'll help you navigate your unique state laws and find the best plan that suits your needs at Financial Futures. All 50 states, so no matter where you are, we've got you covered. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out our other videos on social security and retirement planning. We've got tons of great tips that can save you money and stress. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update. Plus, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or reach out to us directly. See you next time, and take care of your financial future.